Okay, welcome back, and we are finally going to talk about auto-wired and specifically dependency injection. So now that we've completed our controller, we have used the auto-wired annotation several times. And essentially what's happening here is when we annotate this with auto-wired, Spring Boot goes and finds the product repository, brings it over to this class, injects it, that way we can use it in this class. This is known as dependency injection. And specifically, we're using field injection, which is the specific way in which we are injecting it. I'll show you another example in a minute of constructor injection. But in order for this to work, product repository or any of these components need to be annotated with repository, or they could be annotated with service, or it could even be another annotation like at component. But as long as it has a certain annotation, Java Spring Boot will come into this class, find it, it recognizes it as something known as a, as a bean or a spring bean, finds it, brings it over here, and allows us to use it in our class. So this is field injection specifically, where it's only one line for each component. Another way to do this is through constructor injection. So we could do it via constructor injection. I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to copy off screen. And it would look like this. So we have private, final, product repository, product repository, delete product command handler. We then pass it into the constructor, and then we have to assign it in the constructor. And as you can see, this takes literally three times as much code as opposed to using field injection, we only need one line of code. And because the names of our classes are very long, which is very typical in a Spring Boot project, it makes it even more challenging. And this can get really ugly really quickly. Now, that being said, there are some advantages of using constructor injection as opposed to field injection. Uh, we're not ready to talk about some of those advantages and disadvantages yet. But one potential consequence could be on the testing side. But that'll be covered in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and re-delete this. We're going to stick with field injection for our project. But as you guys have seen, my teaching style is a little bit different. Instead of trying to explain to you dependency injection before you even made your first controller, instead we went through the process, then came back and said, okay, what the heck was this and why did we do it? Anyway, see you guys on the next video.